Hey guys and welcome back to part 3 of our showcase in Red Team in TTPs and in the previous one we managed to pretty much embed a custom C2 payload injection point into our world macro unfortunately we were caught by the defender if you haven't watched previous video you can find it right about here and now in that one as I promised I'm gonna show how to bypass that defender by following slightly different approach um, my idea here is to pretty much have another pane which is going to be for smb server and now we're going to compile and build a c file which is going to have our injection point we're going to host that onto the smb server and we're going to inject that into the web macro making a request to the smb keep in mind that this is a report issue for me and microsoft can fix that for the time testing is not fixed or maybe it's my update not sure but th this can be fixed in the future so if it doesn't work for you you know why that is so first step is to pretty much go ahead into my commando and start dev c++ now we want to create a new source file which is going to be in raw c format and now type include stdl.h which is the standard library and now include stdlib.h which is going to allow us to run system commands now do int main and here type yx system ipconfig and in c is that easy to run system commands Keep in mind that whenever you build a C file, compile and build, you're going to be storing a uh, .exe file in the same directory. So if I type run file, just call it run, compile it, as you can see, we can do ipconfig. And now in my desktop, we can see we have run.c and run.exe, which is doing quite the same. Now that way, I can compile our PowerShell payload, base64, PowerShell no profile hidden whatsoever. We can do it here, compile it, store it on SMB running that way. So let's go ahead now and do like PowerShell base64 because I forgot it again how to do it. Open that up, follow the syntax, uh, open PowerShell window. Actually, we need to do it, uh, let's say, one by one. So copy that paste actually cmd and we have it right there good thing we have that ps redwine method which is auto completing us as this age that then we have bytes then we have and call that call that text equal convert and now we can pretty much do and call that text all right, we're going to set clipboard and uh, we can paste it here. So pretty much we can do PowerShell, no profile, execution bypass, hidden, and the basic steward payload there. All right, so pretty much that's it. So if I were to save that file and from Kali, if I run my Python HTTP server here, we can pretty much see that if we run the executable we're gonna get callback just like that all right so let me restart my environment do python again now inside a commando i want to say close that since we have an executable and i want to translate that into my curry box so cd desktop and now i want to do python http server actually i need to see my ip address the Python HTTP server, copy the IP, go to Kali and sudo, we get fix my syntax and main.txt. Oh, not main, it's run.txt. All right, now we have it here. The next point is we need to pretty much do the web server and we need to pretty much do the SMB server. So do impact SMB into that directory, TS debug SMB to support. Run that. Now go to commando again and let's open up a new Word file. So right click new Word document and type like duck duck m open it up no go to view macros or doc docm 
test macro create and here we can do like shell and just put the full path to the SMB server including the file which is 12, 168, 126, 128, SMB and then what was it? run.txd so that way if I run the macro I should get a call back again so everything's been set up run that and we have a callback SMB callback and HTTP callback and then we need to type the auto open things soup auto open then test then we're gonna need soup document open and then test again now let's save that and let's see what's gonna happen I'm gonna start my listener there so let's restart my web server I'm, and I'm gonna start python listener.py now pretty much I want to here copy my file paste inside the windows domain directory sorry come on Do I have what? I have. Hmm. It's not getting triggered, which is nice. And we can either open it. Nice. So now the only thing left to do is to pretty much do enable content. And here we have SMB callback. We should have HTTP callback and our C2 is triggered. IP config, we are there. So now if I were to close that, close the word, we can see that our SMB still persists. We can do who am I? It's listening again. We can do another command. DIR, nice. So as you can see, our C2 is working just fine. No word is being here, no CMD is, is popped down there. Our antivirus is still to on. So I think that's a cool way to pretty much bypass Defender. I'm not sure, I haven't tested it about any other antivirus solutions, but as I said in the beginning of the video, this issue is being reported, guys. So that means even if you were to exploit it and do it, there's a slight chance that it no longer works because as I said, I reported it to, it to Microsoft to make it a little bit better. Now, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed. That's how we bypass the Defender. And I will see you right in the next one. If you have any ideas about any future content or if you enjoyed the content you see on my channel, make sure to like that video, subscribe to our channel and comment section is yours. Thank you guys and see ya.